here we go step number one getting across the road to the other side without getting hit by a car coming the other way oh, there's got to be a way to do this I might have to just force the issue like I do in Thailand I think all right I'm gonna go the other wrong side wrong way up the road and see what happens come on out there we go all right part one get out of the road without getting hit by a car tick that one off okay that's Robinson's department store or whatever you call it there on the left it's pretty well known pretty well known shop in the central part of Cebu City massive great roundabout here really have no idea where I'm going so I'm just sort of relying on the Google Maps here so I've got to sort of try and keep my eye on the traffic while keeping an eye on the GPS as well which is never easy when you're a little bit nervous with your first ride in a new city A couple of times when I've been out walking, I should go around this side I think. Don't want to be behind a bus unless they're turning. Alright, cool bananas. I love those orange shoes, they're awesome. I oh, want a pair. He's off. Fantastic, I've made it 1k without getting hit by anything or hitting anything. Actually, I've got to go that way anyway, so I'll follow that guy around there. Oh shit. They put a banana trolley there. Oh, they look yummy. I should have grabbed one on the way through. Okay. Around the traffic jam here. Not much we can do about this. Looks like a bit of nail. Should I go through or feed myself through here? I reckon so. Let's just go through. They're not going anywhere. Around this way. Okay. Awesome. In the city here, amongst the traffic, this is where these light, nimble scooters really come into their own. Well, this one's a 150cc, which I think is ideal for inner city work. And the 125s to me are just too small, they're just a cheap bike, you can't afford a 150 in my opinion. The traffic's not too bad, but it's only middle of the day, so I'm assuming, like most cities, by the end of the afternoon it'll get a lot worse. Oh. Pass this jeepney. Just starting to notice going up this hill. The difference in the power between this Yamaha 155 or 150cc engine compared to the Honda compared to the Honda Fours I had back in Thailand. Now, I rode a bike similar to this through Vietnam for about four months, uh, two up with backpacks and other gear, and yeah, I thought it was all right. But gee, I'm really noticing the difference in the power, the lack of it here. So maybe I've just sort of got used to the bigger bike, and yeah, and this one. Probably just much the same as what I had before, but it just feels really slow. <laughs> For want of a better description, that's what it is. Slow. But then that's not altogether bad. Particularly when in a new city. Speeding is probably not a good thing to do. And it, the road is really wet and dirty too. Careful, don't run over any locals. Still looks heavy. Oh, well done, mate. Good merge. All right, I'll wait for him. Don't want to put a dent in the side of his truck or in the side of my head for that matter.
pulled over for a quick pit stop as the GoPro decided to uh, freeze up on me. Don't know, maybe it's the heat, humidity. Anyway, have a look at the scenery behind me. This is just great. Got these houses virtually hanging off the edge of the cliff here. The road is actually amazing. It's it's really twisty, a little bit rough in places, but not too bad. It is really a nice little windy uphill section for oh no, probably about six seven k's out of the out of the main part of Cebu City, and it's really good fun. There hasn't been a lot of traffic, a lot of bikes, but not many cars or trucks too for that matter. So it's been really good. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what the rest of it's like. I'll tell you what, if this is a taste of what Philippine riding is going to be like, it's going to be one awesome trip, that's for sure. Sometimes a road to get to a destination can be the best part of the trip. And I've got a feeling that today it's going to be one of those days. The scenery is truly outstanding. There's little restaurants and cafes all along the sides of both sides of the roads and the view out there is just incredible this is what you see on the sides of the road virtually all the way up here and we're sort of on a bit of a ridge line the whole road seems to be on a bit of a ridge line there's my trusty steed for the day the Yamaha NMAX which is Doing okay so far, pretty comfortable bike. Just cross over the road so you can have another look. What's on the other side? Prove to you I'm not lying. I mean, just check this out. <laughs> it is utterly amazing. In the distance I can see land over the sea there. I think that might be Bohol, the island of Bohol. I'd have to have a look on the map to see where we are. But yeah, wow. Motorcycle enthusiast, and you love twisty roads, you are absolutely going to adore this. I'll go as far to say, this is one of the best mountain bike rides I have done anywhere in the world and including my home country of Australia with some pretty good ones there and northern Thailand north of, north of Chiang Mai northern Thailand north of Chiang Mai is pretty good I'm not sure where we go here <laughs> uh, two choices there I think I don't know why but anyway yeah back to what I was saying it's just fantastic it's just corner after corner after corner and yeah it's a little bit rough but the suspension on the bike's pretty good so it's sucking enough easily but it's just plain fun it really is few vehicles to pass but not too many they're pretty easy to get by anyway I'm gonna switch off and get back to enjoy myself It just seems like there's million dollar views on every corner. It really does. If you had real estate anywhere along a road like this, with scenery like this, in Australia, and I'd assume a lot of other countries in the world, it literally would be probably a million dollars or more for a building block. Nomad's Refuge, 100 metres. Oh, there it is. Did that have an awesome view, I reckon? Out across the valley? <laughs> it does too. Well, I don't know if I fluked one of the best rides in the Philippines or not on my first outing, but this is just amazing. It really is. If you've got a bucket list, guys, put it high up there you really don't want to miss this if you're a bike enthusiast trust me
probably notice I'm riding a lot slower than I normally do. And it's simply because the scenery is just too fantastic to take my eyes off so I can't speed. And according to maps, this is me turn off here. This is an adventure bike rider's dream, this place. Never in my entire life have I ever seen anything that even comes close to this. Barley a little bit in places, but nowhere near to the extent of this, nowhere near to the extent of what it is here. And it hasn't got the traffic of Bali either, which is a big bonus. Don't know how safe it is to ride around here on your own. Hopefully it is. I haven't heard any real negative reports. Oh, big drop off there. I think the key with a lot of things though when you're traveling is if you feel a little bit suspect about a place and you don't have to, don't stop. I always try and cover myself up a bit. You know, long pants and long sleeves and full face helmet, gloves and stuff to try and hide the fact that I'm a tourist in case I do get followed probably won't it might sound a bit silly to people watching this that live in the Philippines but yeah I don't know I travel to a lot of different places and yeah it's just one of those things I, I do I'll pass a casual glance most of the time and won't get picked for a tourist Spare bike, anybody? <laughs> I wonder what the history of that is. Interesting to find out. Oh, right, the road's getting a bit worse. Still quite easy to get through, but I think our beautiful paved vitamin and concrete is starting to give way to some unsealed stuff. But it's still good. Very skinny goat, that one. More of them. Goat galore. I don't know why they're so skinny, there's plenty of feed here. What don't you want to see on a narrow, bloody, windy road is a truck. He's pulling over, I think. Ah, oh, he's going to let me through. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. That helps. Well, at least we got the concrete back. It's actually smoother than the main part. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> Only a young one, I think it couldn't take off too quick. I think I'm coming to the end of our trail here. Hmm. Apparently it says I've arrived, but at what? I've arrived in a village, the looks of it. Very 
Spicy Village. Alright, I'm just going to pull over here for a sec and see if we can work out what's going on there. It pretends I've reached my destination, but I think it's back up there. That peak up there. So it means I'll have to turn around and go back. Took a bit of a detour back there. I think I'm back on the right track. We've just lost our beautiful concrete road. Oh, that's all right. Only momentarily. No matter what, it's just awesome riding through you. It's just great. Pretty cool too. I mean, when I say cool, it's cool by cool by Asian standards <laughs> it's still still pretty warm by Australian standards that's for sure and probably most of Europe at this stage too I'd reckon anyway I should really be watching where I'm going because that's what got me in trouble last time is uh, I wasn't watching the map close enough and missed a turn off now where do we go here Left or right? I think we go up here. Yep, my little blue arrow is following the white line. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name of the mountain I'm heading to. The security guard back at the hotel did pronounce it for me. But uh, I have since forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> Aha! We have arrived! Mount Manganungal Peak. I don't think that's actually the peak I started out to go to, but anyway. It'll do. In the next video, guys, we'll pick up where we left off in this one. We'll make our way up to the viewpoint and the campsite. I'll put the drone up so you can get a good view of the surrounding area and see just how beautiful it is from the air. So stay tuned to the channel guys, got some really good stuff coming up. Got more on Cebu, there's an amazing ride coming up to the southern end of Cebu and another mountain that claims to be the highest one on the island. And also we'll be heading off to the island of Bohol and there's some truly amazing riding there too. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video at least. And if you did, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.